Today, Sammy and I are going to whip up a quick little video to show you how to adjust your speed of the video playback or the resolution in case you don't have a high enough bandwidth to watch our videos through the internet. First thing you want to do, if you're having a problem, let's say you're having a problem with a lesson and you keep getting a little swirly. So you have this guy up here just swirling around up in the top. That's speed test. That's just loading a bunch of different things. So that's why that's doing it. But a lot of times when you go to a video, let's just bring up our, and we do the introduction. And you can see if you, if you press this, this is your play button. You start your play. And a lot of times I have a very fast internet. So, but you're going to get a swirly here. That means your internet probably is not fast enough. What you want to do is go to speedtest.net and just run the test. It's going to give you a number. Like I said, we're very fast. We have to be fast because we do live broadcasts. So we have a gigabyte of download, basically. It's 900 megabytes of download. And our upload should be around 30, I think, 25 to 30, depending upon the day. Well, today it's a little slower, but it's getting there. Usually it's 25 to 30. Okay. So this is my speed. I have no problem playing the videos. If you are down to like three megabytes for your download, that's not fast enough at the higher resolution, okay? Upload doesn't really matter that much. The ping doesn't really matter as long as it's under 100. But this speed should be like at least 12 megabits to get it to play at the higher resolution. All right, so what do you do? Let's go to the lesson so it'll play a little bit longer. You can start the video, and if you get the swirl and it doesn't go away, See, what you got to look for... Hi, this is Ginger Cook. You know what? John and I... Over here, where I am in the lower right corner, you can change our, your our volume. I studio all day and look at Pinterest and photos. You click and drag it back and forth. Yet. Okay, so I just turned her off. Look what's over here. You see the playhead that's blue? That's what's currently playing. You see the little bitty baby gray that's ahead of it? That's the spooling. That means I'm, I it can keep up with... The playback can keep up with the download. All right. Let's say yours doesn't do that. If you don't see the gray, or if you have very little gray, you need to change your resolution. Just bring your cursor into the video, lower right corner, hit the little gear, change the quality. Instead of 1080p, take it down to 720, even 540, and play. Now see, I have a bigger gray area. It's not going to spool down a lot of it, but it's giving me even bigger play. And you know, see that it's not that big of a difference as far as quality. I mean, these videos we shoot them at the high definition, but they play very well at 540, even 360. Let's drop it to 360. And let me just start it over at 360. You can still tell what's going on. If you stop it and you actually try to read the writing on the pencil or something, you won't be able to do that. But you're going to see everything you can. You know, you're going to see the lesson fine. So over here, the gear, it's going to change the resolution. 720 is, okay, 1080p is HD. That's the current standard. 720 is DVD quality. 540 was the one right below DVD. And then 360 is the basic computer quality that we started with 100 years ago. Now, the other thing you can do is some people say ginger goes too fast. Let's turn the volume until up the for lights a second. Are lights coming from this direction. Hopefully you can hear okay. some of that. So I've got the light here, and I can lighten up you can see down here this pot a bit right here. Speed. Okay, like that. So I have a little more Let's contrast down. between here in the back see what i'm doing and then i think i need some warmer light so it slows her down half speed and you can keep up with her i personally wouldn't try to paint with this gal i would watch the lesson and see what she does it pause it and rewind it 
and speak and rewind it. Just grab the little playhead and slide it back. You can slide it forward way ahead. And you can bring it back. No. It's, you can go back and forth. I'm just going back and forth. Take one, take one of these. You this click on it, sink. hold your mouse down, I'm and just slide it back and forth. Colored pen. This one's all. Start a new colored Let's pencil because I've used up that, that one. So it's a piece of chalk. Okay, so. Okay. So, Dan, change your resolution if you're having a playback issue. That's the quality. If you want to slow it down, go to the speed. Slow it down if you want to speed it up. That's going to sound like a chipmunk. Turn it up a little Please bit. Yeah, I got it. Okay. All right, so I know that I've got to have, this is my outside edge of this um, arch, okay? Here's my outside edge of this arch, okay? And uh, John's going to start sharpening things for me. Um, so if I'm so you can still sure understand it. Square. And when we tell you to watch a lesson before you do it, it may not, two times may be the way to do it. Because some of these lessons are going to be very long. Um, because you can just see, a lot of times we're designing, Ginger's designing it as she's doing it, and she changes her mind, so she's going to paint something in there, and you guys are painting along with her. She may wipe that completely out in the next part, and you're not going to be a happy camper. So, word of the wise. Okay, so this little video here, this little quickie, is showing you how to change the resolution so you can get it to play back if your internet speed is not up to snuff. Remember, download should be at least, you can probably get away with 10, but we like 12 for download, 12 megabits. Make sure it says megabits and not kilobits. So it was MBS. And this was speedtest.net. This was a video. Again, you can slide it back and forth for your playhead, volume control. This little button here makes it go full screen. Bam. Now you can see it's gonna be grainy on that. But again, you're doing the 360, and it's still not that bad. Let's kick it into the real quick here. I might have to refresh to get it to go back into that mode. Over here, like that. I'm going to come up go. here about like that. Oh, this kid got I'm going to leave that in two times. I'm going to wonder what's going on. Put that back. All right, so let's, uh, let's expand that one out. And there's high def. So you can totally read the numbers. You can even read each little millimeter mark. You can read the paint over. Well, you can't see the paint over there, but you can see... Again, high def, you can see it. 360 is still very watchable. Hey, if you have any questions, comments, put them below the video. Sam and I will do our best to answer you and keep you going. If you need to see something, have any questions, please let us know. Thank you.